understanding how biology works at all levels helps us understand how to keep people well and how to cure people who are sick. What we're trying to answer is how molecules interact and over the years we've been developing a number of uh, molecular models and ways to make molecular models with 3D printing. There are lots of ways to look at, at proteins uh, depending on what you're interested in seeing at any given time. So the, the representation that you use is, uh, is important. So this is a model of HIV protease. So this is one of the drug targets that we're interested in uh, designing new, new drugs for. My lab is a strictly computational lab, so we don't do experiments. The power of computers can reach things that current experiments cannot. Fight AIDS at Home is a project that takes a large library of chemical compounds and sees how well they fit or dock against a, a drug target, in this case targets from HIV. And if it sticks in the right place, then we have a hit. And so we know a lot now about the molecular biology of this virus, and we know where the weak spots are, and we can try to target them. Before, we could only kind of validate a single molecule. Now we can screen millions of molecules to look for the needle in the haystack. More recently, uh, we've teamed up with uh, Erica Ullman Sapphire here at Scripps. Since Ebola has become such a, a scourge, um, uh, IBM was interested in supporting a, an Ebola project. It's always a, a great feeling to, to know that what you do is actually impacting the world.